Brent climbs ahead of OPEC plus oil production decision. Brent crude futures rose in early Asian trade on Friday, November 24, reversing losses in the previous session as traders speculated on whether OPEC plus would come to an agreement on further production cuts. Brent crude futures gained 29 cents, or 0.4 percent, to $81.71 dollars at 0 to 13 GMT, after settling down 0.7 percent in the previous session. US West Texas Intermediate Crude slid 38 cents, or 0.5 percent, to 76.72 dollars from its Wednesday close. There was no settlement for WTI on Thursday as it was US public holiday. Both contracts are on track to mark their first weekly rise in five. Supported by expectations that OPEC Plus, led by Saudi Arabia, could reduce supply to balance the markets into 2024, the Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries and Allies, together known as OPEC Plus, surprised the market with an announcement on Wednesday that it would postpone a ministerial meeting by four days to November 30 after producers struggled to come to a consensus on production levels, suggesting that the disagreement was largely linked to African nations. OPEC Plus members in Gola and Nigeria are aiming for higher oil output, officials told Reuters on Thursday. We think Nigeria can be assuaged as the leadership values its long-standing OPEC membership and improving TIs with Saudi Arabia, said RPC Capital Markets analyst Talima Croft. However, it may be more difficult to bridge the gap with Angola, which has been a moodier member of the producer group since it joined in 2007. The most likely outcome now appears to be an extension of existing cuts. Tony Sycamore, a Sydney-based market analyst at IG, wrote in a note, the surprise delay had initially brought Brent futures down by as much as 4% and WTI by as much as 5% in Wednesday's intraday trading. Trading remains subdued because of the Thanksgiving holiday in the US. On the demand side, poor refining margins have led to weaker crude demand from refineries in the US, analysts said. Fundamentals developments have been bearish with rising US oil inventories, and analysts said in a note. In China, analysts say oil demand growth could weaken to round 4% in the first half of 2024 from strong post-COVID growth levels in 2023, as the country's property sector crunch weighs on diesel use. Non-OPEC production growth is set to stay strong, with Brazilian state energy firm Petrobras planning to invest $100 to billion over the next five years to boost output to 3.2 million barrels of oil equivalent per day boped by 2028 from 2.8 million boped in 2024.